And so on the descent, Justin Vicky was doing everything right. However, he didn't have the strength to get the weight up. This is a freak accident, more rare than one in a million, perhaps one in a hundred million. Coach Greg and tragic news in the fitness industry, a very popular fitness influencer from Indonesia recently passed away while performing a barbell back squat. I was originally not going to do this video, but so many people have requested by far the number one request. And so I feel like people can learn from this. First, I want to show you exactly what happened, what exactly went wrong. And so he stands back with 450 pounds, attempting a one rep max. It has a spotter in the back and while trying to get the weight up you can clearly see that the man could not get this weight it was simply too heavy and when spotting a squatter unless you have the safety bars as in you're squatting within the rack you need a minimum of three spotters anything less than three you are at risk and even with three things can actually happen with heavier weights at powerlifting meets we have five spotters and so he had one spotter who had his hands on the bar that is not the proper way to properly spot a back squat the hand should be on either side of the person's chest and or stomach you should be close to them if they can't get the weight you're basically grabbing onto them and going up with them as in performing a two-person squat and no we can't show the entire video it's very graphic it's very disturbing the first time i saw it i basically dropped my phone it took my breath away and so i don't think you should watch it and remember this is a freak accident there are millions of people performing the squat every single day this is the first time i've ever seen this happen and so i don't think we should simply ban the squat saying it's far too dangerous and so on the descent justin vicky was doing everything right however he didn't have the strength to get the weight up when attempting any weight that you think you might not get you need to squat within the racks you might be nervous that what happens if i drop the weight i might drop it on the pins i might bend them that is what they are for i personally dumped weights in the gym multiple times before and in this instance if he couldn't get the weight he simply would have kept lowering his squat depth until the bar was set on the pegs nothing would have happened but because there are no pegs what most people do would throw the weight back off of their chest if they couldn't lift it or throw the weight towards the front it's basically called bailing on the lift you know you can't get it and so you just get the heck out of there sometimes it slams on your head throws you to the ground falls back pulls and wraps into your hair i see these videos on instagram all the time but i've never in my life seen anything like this now had they been spotting properly with three spotters one on each side they would have grabbed the weight as soon as they saw that it couldn't go up and so my opinion you can't blame the spotter there was only one of them how do you know what he was told to do he might not have had experience justin vicky likely told the spotter hey just grab it a little bit if i can't get it probably didn't say to have his hands around his chest and so I don't want to see anyone blaming the spotter. I've read a lot of comments, people blaming the spotter. And so I can only imagine what it was like to be there when this accident happened. And so I don't want the spotter to think that this was his fault. Ultimately, I don't like to have to say this, but I do believe that this is ego lifting gone wrong. I preach over and over in videos and on my Instagram to avoid ego lifting in the gym. And because of ego lifting, this is the tragic accident that occurred. Had he tried 185 kilograms or about 400 pounds, I'm extremely confident he could have got it easily for one rep and probably a couple reps more. But with around 205 kilograms, 450 pounds, it was simply too much for him on this day. And so unless you're training for powerlifting, I see absolutely no reason to go for a one rep max. It is far more likely to lead to injury. And Justin Vicky recognized just how dangerous the squat really was. And I'm quoting from gym.legends where I'm getting this information. The bodybuilder had previously acknowledged the exercises, dangers in a fitness video Video posted on July 5th where he emphasized the unparalleled benefits of squats while also recognizing their risks. If you know the squat is so dangerous, which was acknowledged on July 5th, then why not do everything in your power to make it safer? Squatting within the racks would have most certainly prevented this tragic accident. And so please don't ever let this happen to you. We can all learn from this. Do not ego lift in the gym. And when you are attempting one rep maxes, because perhaps you're a power lifter or a straw man competitor, use 
safety precautions. Have three spotters or squat within the rack with the safety bars in place, adjusted perhaps one or two inches below where you're going to squat. And so let's examine his technique just a little bit. You can see he's doing a high bar squat. This is not the style of squat that I personally perform, but it places more emphasis on the quads. The bar is placed very high towards the neck. In comparison, when I would squat, I did it low bar. The bar is paced lower, hence a low bar squat. In placing the bar lower on the back, it allows you to get more glute engagement. It also lowers your set of gravity, making it easier not to lean forward. If the bar is placed lower on your neck, as opposed to being up top here, for example, pretend it's there, it's less pressure to force your back moving forwards. And so for me with lower back issues, I always did a low bar squat. And as you descend, if you don't think you can get the weight up and you're on your own and you don't have any safety racks, you can simply lean back and it will throw the weight off of your back. But if you're leaning so far forward and you know you can't get the weight, you basically have to tuck, throw the weight off your back and allow it to land on the floor. Sometimes this will happen. The bar will drop. It'll hit you in the head and you'll be slammed to the floor. But getting a headache from the bar hitting the back of your head, it's a lot better than what happened here. And so it comes with practice. But if you've never done this before, if you've never dumped a weight in your life, you may not know what to do. You're doing it for the first time. That is why you have safety spotters. And if not, that is why you use the safety rack. Notice the word safety in safety rack. It's to make the lift safe. And so if you don't have experience, I don't recommend you try this. This is a freak accident, more rare than one in a million, perhaps one in a hundred million. But it doesn't mean that other accidents can happen. Normally when you're ego lifting the gym, it's a torn muscle, broken leg, something to that extent. Not ever nearly as tragic as this. And so if you're going to squat, someone from behind, please don't try to spot them like this. How strong are you in this position? Ask yourself, how much can you actually lift? Personally, I might be able to spot about 50 pounds. Somebody's in front of you and your arms are outstretched. Your hands are so far from your shoulders that even 25 pounds in each hand could have seemed extremely heavy. So if you think you can spot someone with 400 plus pounds by holding it like this, if anything should happen, they injure their back, they tear their quad, uh, they get a meniscus injury, they sprain their ankle, anything. If you have your hands like this and they have to dump the weight, there is no possible way you can help to lift it. 50 pounds, it's not going to happen. When you're bench pressing someone, you can probably do a shrug with the weight. You can probably save someone, but out front like this, it's not going to happen. Essentially, you're doing front raises. You cannot spot hundreds of pounds doing front raises. And so that is never a proper way to spot. Unless you're perhaps spotting somebody new in the gym that's never lifted the weight before and they only have 95 pounds and you're a big guy, 200 plus pounds, you're strong, you could spot a weight like that. But I simply don't recommend it. If you need to spot someone like that because they're a true beginner, they shouldn't be using that weight anyway. As you can see on this rack, which is very common in CrossFit gyms, and sometimes gyms at resorts down south, there is no actual safety rack. There are no place to put the safety bars. So perhaps he had no choice. Could not properly perform the squat with the safety bars in place. And in that case, you should have either three spotters or tell yourself, I'm not going for a one rep max on this day. I just don't feel safe about it. And at the end of the video, you can see a second gentleman come into the video. Perhaps what you could have done was had one person on each side. And in case you couldn't lift it, they could have grabbed the weight on each side. That perhaps could have prevented it. But typically you wouldn't spot someone like that. You wouldn't use two spotters on either side. You would always have one person in the middle and one on either side. And obviously you can't have one person in the middle and one on the side because if they lift one side, it's simply going to throw the bar to the side. And so I hate to see this accident. I hate to see this tragedy. I don't enjoy talking about it. I don't want to deter other people from joining the gym and making fitness part of their life. But remember, this is a very rare and tragic accident, but we can, of course, learn from it. Learn to use the proper number of spotters when attempting heavy weights in the gym. And if they're not available, save that heavy lift for next time. And unless you're a power lifter, perhaps straw man, there's no no reason to perform a one rep squat in the gym. Subscribe, click the bell button, watch one of those two videos, and until next time, I am out.